I, I, I'll start off because I, so everybody who's not on the video side of this call doing a video doesn't realize we started setting this up an hour ago. Um, and I, I think I, I think that's the indication. By the way, I think Google has amazing tools, and I think Google is looking to continue to provide this kind of service as something free. But again, remember back to what I said earlier. Google doesn't ever, ever give anything away for free. This is not free. If you think this is free, you are wildly deceived. There was a great article about two and a half years ago in Newsweek, back when they actually published a magazine. This guy wrote a column and he said, Google are the Dutch, we're the Indians, and we're selling Manhattan for beads. And his point was, Google gives us these great trinkets and we use them, but they're gathering information. By the way, Google has the right, and you clicked on this when you accepted this, they have the right to record and analyze everything that's said on this. And in fact, they are using that to build their transcription engine. Google also received a patent last year to deliver advertising based on what's said in a conversation. And that's why all of these conversations go through Google servers. So if you're a business, do you really want to have a communication solution that's free where, in fact, your competitors are listening in on that con your potential competitor is listening in on that conversation? Because if Google is selling the fact that I'm buying a car and I have you're a car dealership and I happen to be talking to you about buying a car on your Google supplied SMB system and Google records that and now I start seeing pop-up ads all over the web for other cars and other other car dealers is that really what you want to implement and, and I think that's the biggest thing you have to think about cost nothing is free you pay for it one way or another so I mean we could talk a lot about what Google doesn't have from a technology perspective right the bigger question is do you want Google monetizing your communications because it's not necessarily true that it's, it is necessary in your interest to have them monetizing your communication. And by the way, I don't dislike Google. Don't get me wrong. I actually have no problem with what Google does. But as a business, communications is so essential to my business, my monetization process of my assets, I'm not sure I want to, success, to expose them to alternative monetization of my competitors. Right. That's that. I understand that. Now, but could... Let me ask you this follow-on. Could SMBs get everything they need from Google from a UCAS perspective? Could they even get everything? I, I think they can get a reasonable set of technologies. I don't think they are, quite frankly, all that well integrated, as we saw this morning, mm -hmm. trying to get, you know, I have to be in your circle, you have to do this. I mean, trying to explain to a customer to be able to have this video meeting with a customer um, right. is hugely complicated. So I think it's still very complicated. Will it get better? Absolutely. Will Google continue to provide that? Will there be other alternatives coming in the future? Absolutely. Um, but again, I think, coming back to, to Joe's point about this, this is a tool to make your business better. It's not a technology you want to enjoy. And, and therefore, you know, if, the, if you pay $10 a month or $20 a month for something, and if you can get it for free, but it costs your employees 15 minutes a month to use it, and your employees cost you $150 an hour, you didn't make money off it. It wasn't a good business decision. So I think the question is, Google, the technology is still not well, well integrated. You can you can do things. I use Google Voice for my office number. I, I like it. But it, but again, I'm not sure I would recommend to a, a real a larger SMB that this was the, the choice to make for your total communication system today. Clear. Yeah, that, that's clear. I, I was going to say the same exact thing. I use Google Voice and I love it and it's wonderful. But I'm in, you know, I'm a one-person operation. If I had, you know, 15 people, it probably wouldn't be the right type of solution. But also, we don't know about the security, the privacy, confidentiality, integration, all those things. I mean, Google is wonderful for what it does, but it's not offering an enterprise-grade solution right now, and it's not even saying that it is. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I think. I think. Go ahead, go ahead, please finish. Well, I think there's another psychological point to be made here. If I'm using an a, a business application like inventory control, I must use the company's inventory control. But when I'm using a communications applica application, I'm the end user way out on the edge, and somebody sa starts to explain it to me, and it's clunky and it's hard, what I do is I just ignore it. You know, I just ignore it, and I come around the backside, and I call somebody on a copper wire or something like that. 
Right. And, 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 so, that, and so the adoption is very different when you talk right. about communication. And I think the important point, Joe, that you've made there is the value of UC is in both hard and soft benefits. It's hard benefits, you know, moving calls over to SEP, a limiting long distance meeting, managing conferencing. It's the soft benefits of saving people time in their in the business and being able to be more productive. So if your business is going to grow three if over the next three to four years, five years, your business is going to grow twenty percent, you don't have to hire twenty percent more people. If the solution you give people they don't use you're not going to get those benefits. You're not going to get the cost reductions. You're not going to get the productivity benefits, and therefore you haven't taken advantage of them. I think that's the question: is you know, is Google for the average person that you're trying to do? Because remember, we're not selling, we're not delivering UC to the IT department. We're delivering it to our our entire employee base. We're delivering it to that salesman who doesn't really care about technology. They care about booking an order. We're that service technician. Those people, their adoption characteristics are as critical. And I think the challenge is Google, Google tools for us are great, but that's because we're those techno-weenies. <laughs>